guys and welcome to another video this is the second uh, installment of the video i had the car for four months now and i'm gonna run you through what what's happening what's going on and i'm gonna talk about some suspension options that i found for this car which is by far for me the uh let's say the weakest part of the car because everything else is honestly amazing the car is almost 10 year old nothing goes wrong with it so far i had some like when i check with my uh, device you know check the errors in the car i've got some errors with the uh, swirl flaps uh, and the uh, glow plugs the swirl flaps i'm i'm still you know thinking what to do with them they they'll probably i'll put them blanks uh, in but in this engine this facelift engine this they're a bit different i will show you the links below what i mean uh, there is a video online basically if you've got the uh, i think it's n55 engine or something like that uh, you should put this the, the blanks on the swirl flaps because the swirl flaps can fall inside the engine they're made of plastic and they you know they can chip away and they can fall inside the engine so the there is a, a method to just uh, put like a metal blanks on them and that will solve the problem. But I try to do that, like find uh, the ones for my engine, but my engine, the facelifted uh, is N57, I believe. And there is a different type of swerve flaps apparently. So it's just like when I was looking for the, for the blanks, for the metal bits, there was just one. For my engine so uh, I'm still you know thinking about doing it but it's you know not not a very big issue uh, it's just showing in the errors the same with the glow plugs the glow plugs I, when I bought the car was already showing that so what I'm gonna do is basically uh, go to the uh, mechanic and ask him to plug his computer maybe you know he's got better readings and and just you know either uh, fix them you know or, or or do this so honestly there is no, nothing bad going with the car uh, so far after four months you know this car is very steady and it's got 150,000 miles but with this remap it's really really pretty fun <laughs> I should have switched on the dynamic traction control and Honestly, guys, after these four months, I'm still, you know, excited every, every time I drive the car. It costs, you know, under five grand, 300 bhp, a rear wheel drive. You can't, you can't, you can't get much better than that. So let's get to the uh, second part, which is, which is the suspension options. This is the only thing that, it, that was missing in the car like not missing but you can feel that when i'm trying you know like play play with it a bit harder on the road uh you can feel that you know obviously the rear end is losing grip because uh, as well so much torque and, and and the power but as well especially when you go in in the corner and you've got this you know bumps over the road and you feel that that the suspension basically like jumps you know from one like you're turning and then and then you've got a pump and then the suspension like jumps over you know so uh, it's not something you know i really like it's, it's a bit you know strange feeling but other cars do have that as well so uh, this car has you know everything amazing just i would like to fix that so there is a company that you probably all know uh, if you're interested in bmw there's a company called birds and uh, I will show you now the video of Chris Harris. We get huge amounts of oversteer because this behaves like an M car, behaves like a proper car. And it's basically completely irrelevant to you. It's good fun to me, but it's not really applicable to the normal road conditions. But it does mean that the car will come out of corners like a proper rear wheel drive car and not spin one wheel. And I'm told the differential is only 900 quid. So they've got they've got uh, differential. They've got suspension from Eibach and Bilstein, and the anti-roll bars, which are apparently same as in the 
M3. So it's quite amazing, you know, the um, the whole setup that they have. So they it costs around five grand, you know, fully fitted. Obviously, this car costs five grand, so I'm like, you know, thinking about it. But at least I was thinking, you know, to get the uh, differential, it is about 900 pounds, and then you can obviously. Uh, the way it works it always uh, gives you the traction in the wheels because with this car there is no differential there's like a i don't know like a basic one or something but it's nothing nothing that you know gives you the traction when you turn that the, the wheels can turn at different speeds and obviously won't uh, affect the wheel spin won't make the wheels spin you know and start you know traction control all the time because that's what happens in this car in the corners especially you coming out of the corners you get that traction control you know light popping up all the time so uh, that's what I'm planning to do and uh, the power in the car for me is, is enough We're more more than enough the economy on the car is amazing I can do you know 45 miles per gallon but I rarely do uh, because of that the car sounds really good for a diesel for me uh, let me know guys what you think if you found some better options if you have some alternatives for the suspension I want to really uh, I want to go to the track you know uh, with this car there is this track nearby three sisters that has this track attack days and I'm gonna go now uh, soon like without the changes and then I wanted to go you know with the changes but let me know in the comments if you know if there is some better option or, or nicer setup I'm just thinking about the uh, differential at the moment and then maybe add the other bits from the suspension or anti-roll bars maybe as well uh, because obviously the, the, the uh, shocks and the springs are, are gonna be the most expensive part um, and see how it goes so thank you guys for watching let me know uh, what you think and see you in the next one look us out